So, now that we're at Mystic Mansion, this is a fine segue to talk about Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Hey! Because <laughs> I hate, cause I hate this game. Great transition, Zarek! <laughs> well, Zelda's got a castle, this is a castle, I, I feel, I, it works. I could... Oh, man, I, I don't know if it's just me, but like... Did you love or did you love that Hyrule Castle theme? Uh, at, at the end of the it was super great. I was very unprepared for the castle, so I did a lot of... Um, what's the word? Way to say it. Some special exploring. Special exploring? Yeah. Where did you end up? Well, you know, there was a waterfall and then there was like an underground part and then I fell into a tower and... Basically, if Solid Snake entered Hyrule Castle, that's about the route I took. <laughs> I'd play that mod. Uh, it, uh, what, when you say underprepared, because I know you beat, you beat the four Divine Beasts, or I should say you tamed them. Yeah. Uh, what, what made it, what, what made you underprepared? Well, see, I thought it was going to be like, okay, well, you know, it's going to be maybe like a hallway, a couple of rooms. Uh, oh. No, it is the, like, pinnacle of here is all the strongest monsters. Here's all the centuries. You go into rooms, they lock, and it's that centaur. Oh, jerk. the Lionel. Uh, uh. Uh. And I'm like, wow, what is this? Yep. What is all yep. of this? I, I remember entering into that chamber with the first Lionel. The first oh, Lionel. Yeah. <laughs> Mind first. You. And I was like, oh shit, this is really bad. Maybe I should leave and get some. Oh, look at that. The gate's closed. Get fucked. Oh, yeah. So, like. I was able to defend myself through most of it, but there's so many guardians and there's so many like monsters. Oh, the guardians, be man! I go back to the game sometimes just to beat up some guardians. Yeah, because uh, it feels good when you're stronger. So <laughs> it, it really does. Like when when you when you parry with the shield and the laser goes right back into their eye socket. It's like yeah, yeah, I'm good at the game. Damn right. I didn't oh, learn man, about like how to like uh, shield surf until after I beat it. Shield surfing, I, I don't, I've never found a use for it except for that one mini game at the top of uh oh what was the mountain part of the snowy map uh Canada when you come across yeah Mount, Mount Canada. Canada yeah Mount Canada <laughs> yeah there's a, a snowboard person but there's a couple Korok seeds that uh it helped get oh, okay yeah the Korok seeds I just I upgraded a bunch of weapons, stashes, and, and a few shields, a few bows. Yeah, no, I, I would never try 100% the uh, Korok Seeds. No, it, what a... Man, what, what, a, what a prize you get for collecting all 900. Yeah, man, if there's ever something that made me feel like a piece of shit, it'd be receiving a piece of shit. <laughs> it's a piece of shit, yeah. <laughs> man, they must have had a great time with that. Uh, in the development process, it's like, what what are they gonna get if they got all one hundred, all nine hundred Korok seeds? The, the hey, programmer, how about the, nothing? the programmer that was working on all those was feeling really spiteful after seed two hundred twenty-five. It's like, I mean, wow, I could give y'all a shield, or I could give y'all how I feel. <laughs> yeah, oh, imagine if that's the way you had to get like the Helion shield or something. Oh my god. Or even worse, the uh, Kokiri shield. <laughs> The most basic, uh, useless of all shields. Yeah, <laughs> just, just goddamn wooden shield that burns on your first attempt to use it. Yes. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you know what would have been better? A piece of shit. <laughs> and that's how that became the 900th, uh, the, the, the prize for collecting all 900 Korox. Yeah. So, yeah, what, what was your um, favorite of Divine Beast? Oh, sorry. What was your favorite Divine Beast dungeon? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, not the camel, because I hated the fact that, like, that you, you could rotate the, uh, like, three different sections of it in, like, any sort of combination, and that, that just led to a point of frustration. The elephant was pretty cool. Um, I remember that one being pretty neat, and I also loved the lead-up to the elephant. Uh, yeah. Because you're doing, like, that water, uh, th that, that jet ski mini game. Oh, um, it's so cool. It's so great. I'm like, man, I hope every... Every lead up to the boss is like. This. Okay, all right. Uh, so, okay, spoilers alert for the final boss, just because I have to talk about this with someone. All right. It's Ganon. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Okay. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll be a little like uh, loose about it, like like what all it entails. But it's the big fight outside where you know it's got the horse, and you're doing all the cool stuff, right? Right. 
I really wish that was a little better. Like, oh. Okay, so, yeah. like, my fuck the money idea. Because, like, the, my idea would require, like, all of the budget. Is right, okay. If, you, if the fight didn't take place in the field, but took place over all of Hyrule. Oh, honestly, I thought that's what it was going to be. Like, if after you do one part, you, like, grab onto him, and then he, like, runs off into, like, the waters. And then, oh, who's there? It's Prince Sedan. And then you got to do that part again. And then, yes. and, and then, like, it switches over to surf sailing, and he's got all the thunder stuff going. And nope, you have to keep going. Fire those arrows. Oh. Yep. Like, because the champions, the new new generation champions, like, they don't do much. They aren't... Well, God, I mean... Oh, boy, that's a whole... Okay, first off, yeah, that final boss is super lackluster. The thing that bothers me the most is the fact that the Master Sword is so glorified in this game. It's like, yeah, look, like as always, this is what's gonna seal the darkness. And at the end, all you do is pump a few arrows into the thing. No need for the Master Sword. Like, period. And I get it, that's the way the game is designed. Like, you could, you know, face Ganon whenever you want. But... Uh, 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 you know, I didn't actually yeah, think yeah. about that, but yeah. That's super right. The sword's actually just like, it deals a little more damage two bosses that's all yeah, the sword the, really does it, 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 by the end of the game it's like wow the master sword's pretty arbitrary eh? yeah but it recharges <laughs> <laughs> yes it is cool i can use the the the, the laser thing at, at, at full health I, I dig that also i use the garuda champion's lightning skill like i found that a lot more useful than the master sword <laughs> God, yeah yeah i didn't exploit that as much as i should have same with the um I can't remember the, the, the bird's name, but the, the Rito skill. Oh, you uh, didn't, like, you exploit the crap out of that? Man, Falco's Wind is, like, the best skill in that game. Falco's Wind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's basically not Falco. Uh, the, well, okay, he, it was also my last, uh, that was also my last dungeon of the game, so. Oh, it was? Game, oh, was okay. Like, yeah. for, see, for me, it was the second, so it actually helped a lot. Uh, Gorin was the last one for me, and I really... Did not like the lead up to the Goron thing. Oh, the the companion mission. Yeah. Yeah, it's because it was. I mean, as far as companion missions go, that one was well done only because the, the Goron was confident. Uh, it, it didn't make it fun, but it made it tolerable. And when it comes to companion missions, honestly, that's all you can really ask for as a gamer. Uh, more cannon stuff would have been better. Uh, yeah, more cannon stuff would have been great. Um, I think if you start, I think if your first mission is the is, is the water is the is the jet ski one, you, you've pretty much peaked. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a shame because they drive you to go to that one first. Yeah, it's like yeah, every time they, you come across a body of water, it's like, oh hey, the Zora dungeon is a fun place to go. You should, you you should check it out. And then you meet Prince Sidon. It's like, oh well, I I, I have to get to know this guy more. <laughs> He's like, he's, he's like the guy you'd want to be your best man at the wedding. Oh, absolutely. He's, he's just, there's nothing wrong with the guy. And then when you catch him off guard, uh, when like he's reminiscing about the past, he's like, I'm sorry that I was doing it. Like, no, dude, don't be sorry. That's totally fine. I'm, I'm sorry for intruding on, on your moment of, of, uh, of reminiscing. <laughs> man, just... Bigger parts for all the champions, because they're all kind of cool. Like, the bird guy got, like, nothing. Like No, and I, I like the bird guy the most out of the champions, because, like, he was... He actually had some personality. Uh, it was like, yeah, he was a dick, but, you know, at least he had some personality as he, while being a dick. I mean, and, you know, he, he got hurt, and he's like, okay, well, I did what I could. Good luck, man. Oh, sorry, I, I was thinking of the, the past champions. Oh, no, no, yeah, uh, the Fal Falco, yeah, no, he was a dick. Yeah. <laughs> um, although the voice actress for the Gerudo wasn't bad. Um, I know she does a lot of anime, actually, so... Yeah, it sounded almost like a Motoko Kusanagi's voice actress, almost. You might actually be right, because I looked it up with a friend, and I think that was one of the characters that came up. I like how she was kind of like, Man, okay, when you get all the memories, holy crap, is that a story? Like, holy crap, is that a story? Oh, with, um... Like the the last memory. All of them, they're they're all oh. great. 
all, okay, all those cutscenes are phenomenal, and honestly, uh, uh, I don't know how you feel about Zelda, but like, personally, favorite Zelda. Uh, I like Tomboy Zelda more, just as like, a personal thing, but this Zelda was really good. Oh, uh, sorry, which, which, which Zelda? Tomboy Yeah, Zelda Tomboy from? Zelda, like, uh, the one from, um, uh, like Tetra, or the one from, um... Ah, uh, gotcha. Not, not Link's Awakening, she's not in that one. Um... Is it Spirit Tracks now? Uh, Spirit Tracks was also Tetra Zelda. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no Spirit Tracks wasn't. Cause, what? Cause I, I thought it was. I, I believe that's like a new generation. Oh, shoot. See, I never finished Spirit Tracks. I don't remember that much. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it's not, not the best. Uh, no, like the, the train mechanic. But it, but it was one of the uh, few, few games that actually gave Zelda like some personality. Uh, fair. Yeah. Uh, also, good job on that last part. It's very difficult. So, you didn't actually see, there was actually, like, eight playthroughs of this stage before, where the Tails part, like, I would jump and I would fly, and it didn't process that I jumped, so the entire way was flown. <laughs> and I never had enough to make it. Oh, it was always last minute death. And a D. Like, okay, I can't remember if you died, like, late in this part, but, like, yeah, the fact that you finish in 10 minutes. Like, 10 minutes is a reasonable time. It's a good time. I don't think I... Did I die in this? I don't even recall. Yeah, I, I don't remember. I do. <laughs> Zelda? Uh, you yeah, see, I still it's... kept the key, which is the part that confuses me. So you must have... Oh, I, okay. This is where I stopped remembering the uh, the special stages. This space thing is pretty trippy, and I like it. It's cool, but man, like, this layout sucks. And so, okay... Did we talk about it last time, how, like, the uh, PC and PS2 versions are super jank? Uh, not- I, I- we touched upon it. Okay, so I actually did some research, right? And, um, it's something in the coding where the boost, until you're, like, level 3 boost, it actually doesn't accelerate you at all. What? <laughs> yeah, uh, so they- the guy, uh, took a test where he, uh, had two- he had Team Sonic and Team Shadow, like, in multiplayer going against each other. Uh, Team- Team Sonic was, like, left uncontrolled. And Team right. Shadow was controlled, and it was using the boost, and it never progressed past it. Like, it could not pass Team Sonic. Oh, God. And so, wait, to, to exploit, to, to really make use of this, you gotta hit level 3? You have to basically, like, hit level 3 boost, and not, not boost at all till then, and also not hit any of the bombs. Good lord. That's ridiculous. That's not, that's not how you design. Because, like, the, the, the acceleration's like jank. The movement's kind of jank, but also, like, at the end of the boost, like, it doesn't just, like, reset your speed to max speed. It, like, resets your speed to zero. Jesus. Yeah, because you lose all acceleration. So, like, the actual, like, trick is to actually, is to get max speed and then go to the, uh, top, the ceiling. Right. On stages where there are no bombs on the ceiling, and then wait for the straightaway, and then just go for it. Good lord. But then you get, see, because it, it just happened. Uh, like, you... Uh, you, you were boosting, and then like th because of the, uh, the the way the tube is turned, it, it just stops you yeah. midway, and, and you lose all your acceleration. Yep. Got it. <sighs> Who thought this was a good idea? Yeah, I just had to, I just had to show that I had to show that the special stage isn't good in this game. <laughs>